So some pre-calc 12 questions, random. Um, a section of a car when shield is cleaned by a wiper as shown in the diagram below. The arm of the wiper is 22 inches um, and it rotates through a central angle of 132 degrees. Determine the length of the arc. The arc length equals R theta. R is the radius. Theta is the angle, and it has to be in the radians. So basically what we're trying to do, we're trying to find the arc length, which is this part right here. That's what we're trying to find, the arc length. Now, first of all, knowing this formula right here, and the angle has to be in radians, I have to convert 132 degrees to radians. So the first thing I go 132 times pi over 180. So if you're converting degrees to radians, you have to multiply by pi over 180. Um, if you're converting radians to degrees, you multiply by the reciprocal of this. And this would equal 2.304. Now, after that, the arc length would equal the radius, which is 22 inches times 2.304, which equals, going to round it off to one decimal, so it's 50.7 inches. So here's a permutations, combinations question. And uh, there are 20 boys and 11 girls who can be selected to be on a team. Determine the number of ways that seven boys and five girls can be selected. So when it's permutations, combinations, we have to look, is order matter or does order matter or not? So if you choose seven boys on a team, it doesn't matter. You know, if it's John and Sam and Ali and all of that are on the team, I, the order doesn't matter. You know, it's not like uh, two different jobs. You know, if we have two different jobs and we're choosing like from five people, we're choosing two, two people. Um, and that's job one, let's say, whatever it is, you know, it's different from job two. Here, let's say if um, John and um, Samantha, John got job one and Samantha got job two will be a different than if Samantha got job one and John got job two. So here order matters because job one and job two, they differ. Um, however, in, um, in the one that we're doing right now, order doesn't matter. So when order doesn't matter, it's combinations. And combinations, so basically if you wanna find out how many ways you could choose seven boys and five girls to be selected on this team. So you go to the 20 boys and choose seven times from the 11 girls, you choose five and you find the answer. And you multiply because you're choosing seven boys and, and is always multiplying five girls. So always when you're doing permutations, combinations, if it's and, then you multiply. If it's or, then you add. So here you're choosing seven boys and five girls. So therefore you multiply. And the answer is, So 35,814,240 ways you could do this. So binomial distributions, um, here is a question. And this expansion right here, determine the middle term. So first of all, we have to know this equation here. This is how we find the terms of an expansion. So this is based on a plus b to the power of m. Um, now, if I want to know how many terms in this, um, in this expansion here, this expansion has 
nine terms. So you could tell me it's to the power of eight, how come I'm getting nine terms? Well, always if you wanna find the number of terms, what you do, you take N, which is that plus one. And that's why we got eight plus one equals nine. So therefore we have nine terms. Um, so if we have nine terms, the midterm or the middle term, the middle term is term five. So that's the that's the one that's right in the middle in the, in the expansion of nine terms. So what you need to do here, define your terms right here. So A is X squared, B is negative two over Y, N is eight, and the trick is K. So if I wanna find the fifth term since these, since this the equation here reads, tk plus one, then I, for this to read t5, I must make k four. So k, you have to make it four. So t four plus one equals eight, choose four. A, which is x squared to the power of eight minus four, Just filling in everything from here and b is negative two over y to the power of four, because that's what k is. Now, eight c four, if you do that on your calculator, it's gonna give you 70. Eight minus four is four. x squared to the power of four, you multiply the exponents together, you get x to the eight. Negative two to the power of four, that gives you 16. And also y has a one there, so four times one is four, so this becomes y to the four on the bottom right there. And then 70 times 16, if you wanna combine this, you get 1,120 x to the eight, and this y to the four, you could just put it on underneath the x to the eight. So 70 times 16 gives you that, and then x to the eighth, and this is on the bottom, and this is your middle term of this expansion. So, If you're finding my material helpful, please like, share, and comment. Also, subscribe. Thank you for watching again. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye.